老婆，我我虽然生活情况不是特别好，你还是爱上我了，还是一直跟我生活在一起，一直对我好，一直支持我，不管我做什么，你都是先先想对我好，我真的感谢你，我愿意一生一世一世跟你在一起，我现在就是在全中国面前想说出这个。而且我真的说到做到，你真的是最好的老婆，老婆，嫁给我吧。Bunny Dix Osmoller is an Australian in his twenties. He's now studying at the Beijing International Studies University. In 2012, he married a young man, a girl from Shandong Province, beginning the journey of love in an international marriage. 这个这这重手是是摆了黑的，我都无所谓。我自己认为合适，然后我自己认为就是那个他，就是他。<笑>我感觉他确实就像是老天赐给我的那种，突然出现了。然后我感觉没想到他会给我补一个求婚，因为跟他结婚，他自己可能也感觉到跟他结婚。不会像中国的人一样结了婚就有有房子嘛，呃，或者什么都有。然后我们俩算是裸婚那种，什么都没有。他跟我说，嗯、呃，我我在他什么都没有的时候就还愿意嫁给他呀，说什么什么，是，对,对，所以我就好感动啊。The Osmolers are only one episode of China's many international marriage stories. In Beijing, the capital of China. From July 1, 1982, when the registration of international marriages became the responsibility of the Beijing Municipal Bureau of Civil Affairs, to the end of 2014, over 29,000 couples completed the registration, adding 114 countries and regions to the book. After search in international marriages for some time, in recent years, the number of registered international marriages has been steady. Statistics show that Beijing registered 1,260 cases of international marriage in 2011, 2,043 cases in 2012, and 1,070 in 2013. More foreign sex in laws and doctors in laws are coming to China. Joined by true love, but also by Chinese culture, food, and the Chinese way of parent to love. 我我是从小喜欢吃中餐，从小会用筷子啊。第一次来中国就是正好是过年，然后去地摊公园的母要会，然后我们奥地利总人口才七百五十万，搞这个公园，觉得这整个公园里面的人都都超过我国家人口，就觉得各种吃的、各种味道、各种文化什么的，我就我就喜欢。然后他也是没事自己爱写一些书法，然后还篆刻，他一每天自己刻几方页，还刻的还蛮好的。Thirty years ago, marrying a foreigner was quite rare in China. Since China's reform and opening up, and with the development of its economy and society, the number of international marriages has soared. There used to be more cases of older foreign men marrying younger Chinese women, but the situation has changed. In Suzhou, a medium-sized city in the Yangtze River Delta in China. A report on international marriage was issued early this year. In 2014, the city registered 272 cases of marriage and 67 cases of divorce involving a foreign spouse. Interestingly, according to an analysis of the 272 married couples, some characteristics begin to show. In terms of nationality, Suzhou has foreign spouses from 30 countries and regions, with the U.S., Japan, and South Korea in the top three. Thus, married American citizens account for 24.3 percent, Japanese 15.1 percent, and South Koreans 8.3 percent. Among these, a highlight is that the couples are mostly from similar backgrounds. About 62 percent of the foreign spouses have a bachelor's or junior college degree, and 25.3 percent have a master's degree. The Sutu natives also have good education. With 56.2 percent having bachelor's or junior college degree and 12.3 percent a master's degree, the age gap is also shrinking. 
Gables with the age gap of 5 years, make up 48.2%, and 6 to 10 years, a can ball 22.5%. Besides, more Chinese men are marrying foreign girls. In Jiangsu, before 2005, less than 100 local grooms married foreign brides each year. But the number of foreign brides grew to around 170 in 2008 and has stayed there since. The growth in the number of international marriage and the changes that have been witnessed associated with China's increasingly open society and its rapidly developing economy. There is no doubt that China will now take back its goodwill to the world. More and more foreigners are discovering the beauty of China and finding true love and welcoming a better future in this Asian land.